ain't going to be easy. Brendan Beck's been ridiculous as he has struck out five. First pitch gets the call on the corner. May have been off, but he's up strike one. And that makes a great pitcher even greater. Parker Nolan, Rodriguez, and Vaz. There you have it. That's two. The hammer just showed up. Eddie, you're on that bench at Vanderbilt. What are you saying? What are you trying to get your hitters to do? Is there anything? Just stay focused, look middle away, because right now he does not want to throw anything in to give up a home run. It's going to make you earn it. On the ground, and no one to play at first base, and there is Beck to cover. Bruiser to Beck, and that keeps the leadoff man off. What a play, Nick Bruiser. That's a fine play right there. Again, watch where Bruiser starts. Great positioning, goes to his right, smothers that baseball oh. in a perfect throw over to Beck, who's covering there. That's a game saver right there. Beck all in one movement. Gloves, right foot on the bag, off the bat, looked like a leadoff single, but nifty work by Bruiser for the first out. What a throw from Nick Bruiser at first, and that strike one. What a throw he made. That's that's going to make Brock Jones happy. That's quarterback to wide receiver, a tight end cutting across the middle, and he nailed him. Right-handed first baseman make that play? I don't think so. I don't think so. Because watch this yeah, all in one tough, motion. A tough one right he there. goes down glove side, then all in one motion can pirouette and throw a strike. There was a lot, a lot that had to go right there, and it all did. I mean, remember, this is a team that not they did not have fall practice to do the PFPs probably a lot less reps yeah. than any other team that's in this tournament right now. The senior Nick Bruiser big first out one and two to CJ Rodriguez. Brock Jones, look out again. He cuts in front of his right left fielder, gets cut in front of by Grant Burton, the center fielder. The Jones has been involved in two of those close plays. This time is the left fielder. The first one is the center fielder, and you can see Burton. Like, I can't hear anything. One out away from advancing to the game against NC State. Brendan Beck has retired. All 80s faced. Strike one. Javier Baz, last chance. Of the eight that he's gotten, he has struck out five of them. He's located every pitch where he's wanted it since he's come into this game. And when he's missed, he's missed where he's wanted to miss. Well, this is as good as I have seen back. Two balls, two strikes. Over okay, through it, three, three and two. Power hitter Jason Gonzalez has been replaced in the on deck circle. Spencer Jones is coming to the plate. 
for a rare walk and a potentially costly mistake from Brendan Beck. Spencer Jones came in to pinch hit against NC State the other day. They threw him a cutter on the first pitch. Ground ball, second base. Three home runs, 10 RBIs. 87 at bats. He is six foot seven. And there is some power in this bat. And that's going to bring Thomas Eager out for a quick conversation with Brendan Beck. This is just scouting report. You get a pitch hitter up there. I want to make sure that everybody's on the same page. The three, the two-two pitch was the odd one there from Beck because he had, as you guys just pointed out, such great control, and then that breaking pitch didn't break. Kind of cast it a break of all. I got underneath it. And you get a guy in Jones who, I mean, is super talented. In the starting lineup for some of the year this year, but we, we talked raw power and the raw power that Isaiah Thomas has. This guy's got it too. Two and two thirds, five punch outs from back has not given up a hit. The only base runner, the two out walk to Baz this inning. Another out for Stanford, and they'll play Friday against NC State. Spencer Jones trying to keep Vanderbilt's hopes alive. Hunt. Oh, and one. Presents a big strike zone. Just off one ball, one strike. Outfield has to play deep right now. Yep. Baz tying run at first base, potential tying run at first. Six seven, 225 pound sophomore, one and one. That one is in the hole, fielded, long throw, not in time, and it gets by the first baseman. Crampton short hopped Bruiser, and there are men at first and third. Not sure if Crampton could have just eaten that ball. Instead, he threw it across the diamond, and here's Vanderbilt with runners on the corners and two down. Yeah, this is the ball you just have to eat right here. You're going, you're playing up the middle. Good attempt right there, but now you have Vaz at third base, and so many things can happen. Time run now for uh, at Go ahead, run it first. Time run it third. You got a speedster, Enrique Bradfield Jr. at the plate. Corners have to play in. And you have to watch the drag here. Second baseman playing deep and up the middle at second. Enrique Bradfield, the leadoff hitter. Two singles tonight. Beck throwing pitch 38. And that's into right field. Vanderbilt has tied it to third base. And wow, Enrique Bradfield, the biggest hit of his Vanderbilt career. They tie it up with two outs in the bottom of the ninth. Go back to his last at back where he struck out on a curveball in the dirt. He was yelling from the dugout, letting all of his teammates know he'll throw the curveball. First pitch, he gets that curveball, and he doesn't miss it. The first error Stanford made has hurt him. The walk issued by Brendan Beck to Javier Vaz. Now you wonder what Beck has left in the tank. He's been so good, and it's 
Carter Young with a chance to win it for Vanderbilt. Beck sits down the first 80 faces, punched out five of the eighth, and the two out walk. Backside ground ball. There you and have Bradfield right there that ties it up. There you have there you have Roberto Vaz on the left and Bradfield Sr. on the right. For Carter Young, Spencer Jones at third base. Oh. Ball one. Down to second base, Jones. Bradfield. Carter Young 0 for 3 with a walk. Huge hit for Enrique Bradfield. Ties this game up in the bottom of the ninth. Vanderbilt, if you're just tuning in, trailed this game four to nothing. It was four to two after four. Five to two after the top of the six, five, four. And they have tied it here in the bottom of the ninth. Against the Pac-12 Pitcher of the Year, Brendan Beck. Oh, he sounded over his head! The Cardinal are going to lose on a wild pitch from Beck. Spencer Jones scores. Vanderbilt alive. They win it 6-5. What happened? Oh, heartbreak for Brendan Beck and Stanford. And the Commodores get two in the bottom of the ninth to win. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Beck, who was so good for the first eight guys. And you go two out, walk a couple singles. And, and we saw this was a breaking ball. Listen, it's human. It's late at night, and, and if your hands get a little bit slick, that's what you're going to get sometimes with that curveball. He did it earlier in this yep. inning where it wasn't quite that high. This one just squirts out of his hand. Nothing Cody Huff can do, and, and I mean, two outs, nobody on. It looked like this ball game was over, and sure Vanderbilt's did. still alive. It just goes to show you how many ways you can score from third base. Yeah. They got 90 feet, makes a difference in this. The improbable has just happened here. That, that was, again, with two outs, I did not think that Vanderbilt had a chance the way that Beck was pitching. This is a heartbreaker. You feel terrible for Stanford, and in particular, Brendan Beck, who came out of the bullpen and was lights out. As Kyle had said, as good as you've ever seen him throw at 96 miles an hour. And it's Vanderbilt keeping the dream alive of going back to back.